The local government of Pasay City distributed today financial assistance to over 1,000 parents as part of their existing program for students. The cash aid program for students covers the city's 65,000 pupils in public elementary and high schools as well as the City University of Pasay. The program mandates to provide 500 pesos to each student beneficiary monthly. However, it is dispersed quarterly to avoid too much documents. Today, the cash assistance distribution was held at Padre Zamora Elementary School and Andres Bonifacio Elementary School. Since the enhanced community quarantine or ECQ is in place in Metro Manila, Due to the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19, students are prohibited to go out to ensure their safety. Hence, parents or guardians of the students claim the cash aid on the latter's behalf. According to Pasay City Mayor Emi Calixto Rubiano, a student should have an 80% attendance to qualify for the cash aid. Meanwhile, the guardian should have a voter's identification card to claim the financial aid. Po, lahat ng nag -aaral. Sa aming public schools, elementary, high school, and city university of Pasay, tatanggap. Tapos po, 80% ng attendance dapat na meet nila para po ma-qualify. At syempre, meron ding voters ID yung mga magulang. Calix Torubiano mentioned that before the ECQ implementation, the cash aid was distributed per school. However, due to safety measures to combat COVID-19, the distribution became per barangay. The guardians of the students thanked the city government for the cash aid as it would help them amid the pandemic. Gagamitin ko po to sa apo ko para pambili po ng mga, mga ano, libro. Papasalamat po kay Mayor Emmy sa patuloy niya pong suporta sa mga kabataan. Sa pambili po ng mga kailangan ng mga bata, mga pangkain. In the meantime, Calix Torobiano appealed to authorities to look into the recommendation of starting the classes on August 24, saying she wanted to ensure the students' safety. Currently, the mayor is checking if the city's budget would be sufficient to purchase tablets for students and laptops for teachers to give way to online classes should such adjustments would be made. For One Media Network, this is Denisa Fernandez.